Ayan, magandang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Good evening. Good evening. We will be starting our time here at the place. Before we proceed, medyo kalat-kalat tayo. Can I just ask everybody to come here uh, forward here at front? If you don't mind, pwede rin pala kayong kumuha ng coffee. There's coffee outside on the left side. Baka hindi nyo napansin. Nakatago kasi tinago talaga namin sa inyong coffee. <laughs> Ayan. Well, maraming salamat po sa inyong pagpunta. Ayan. As others probably are still on their way. Sometimes it's difficult to get in, back into the habit after a while of not doing a Friday evening meeting. So we do hope that uh, it will become more normal or regular as each, as we continue with our time at the place, especially next month. Well, this evening... Kapag papatuloy natin yung time natin together and we will be, um, as we regularly do or normally do during our time at the place, we will use P-R-A-Y or the word pray as our guide. We will spend time uh, pausing. We will spend uh, time rejoicing and reflecting on the word of the Lord. We will spend time in asking and praying, and then also we will be spending time yielding unto the Lord. Uh, so we spend time soaring at the place tonight. It has been our theme. And so my prayer is that this evening we will have our spirits lifted up that we may indeed soar in our faith. Bago tayo magpatuloy as we spend time pausing, preparing our hearts. Let me just read Psalm 77. I'd like for everybody to just bow down your heads and close your eyes. Psalm 77 says, I cry aloud to God, aloud to God. And he will hear me. In the day of my trouble, I seek the Lord. In the night, my hand is stretched out without wearying. And my soul refuses to be comforted. When I remember God, I moan. When I meditate, my spirit faints. But you hold my eyelids open. I am so troubled that I cannot speak. I consider the days of old, the years long ago. And then I said, Let me remember my song in the night. Let me meditate in my heart. Then my spirit made a diligent search. Will the Lord spurn me forever? Will the Lord never again be favorable? Has His steadfast love forever ceased? Are His enemies at an end for all time? Has God forgotten to be gracious? Has He in anger shut up His compassion? And then I said, I will appeal to this, to the years of the right hand of the Most High. I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. I will ponder all your work and I will meditate on your mighty deeds. Your way, O oh God, is holy. What God is great like our God? You are the God who works wonders. You have made known your might among the peoples. Dear Jesus, in your name we come. In your name we approach the throne of our Heavenly Father with boldness 
and with confidence. Lord, regardless of how our week or days have been tonight, we will just choose to dwell on your goodness, to reflect on your love. We will choose to focus on you. We will choose to fix our eyes on you. We will choose to remind ourselves about your goodness and your love. We will ponder upon you alone tonight. So be glorified, be magnified as we think about you, your goodness, your grace, your love. I pray that in so doing, ma refresh po kami lahat, Panginoon Dios. That as we focus on you, ang mga pinagdaraan namin, ang mga inaalala namin, ang mga pino problema nagbibigay sa amin ng anxieties, worries, and concerns. Lord Jesus, we know that in your presence, they will all pale in comparison. Because you alone are worthy and you alone are able to just deal with all of this. You are a great God. Salamat po, Panginoon, for this very special and precious time that you have given us. We just want to begin this evening of prayer, of intercession, of worship and praise, just setting our hearts right before right before you as our heads are bowed down and as our eyes are closed why don't you just ponder on God right now and ponder upon his goodness and ponder upon his love
bow down our heads, let's close our eyes. I would like for you to ponder right now, what has God done for you? The psalm that I read says, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your wonders of old. And I will ponder on all your work and meditate on your mighty deeds. What has God done for you lately? Think about that. Why don't you do that right now? Share what has God done for you lately. Let's just spend time sharing to one another yung ginawa ng Panginoong Diyos. Do that right now. All right, mari nyo na pong tapusin yung inyong sharing time. Our time at the place is uh, less formal, less flexible tayo. We just want to spend time really um, telling the Lord how good He is. And tonight, that's exactly what we are going to do. So, we have already spent time in pausing, just centering our hearts our minds, our attention unto the Lord. Now we'll proceed into rejoicing in singing. Dahil binalikan natin yung kabutihan ng Panginoong Diyos, then we should really give our best, um, 
of worship, our best singing unto the Lord our God. Some of you may be tired, some of you may be coming from heavy work, some of you are from school, pagod and all that. My prayer is that tonight as you lift up your voices, you will be refreshed by the Lord. So why don't we all stand for all that God has done, for all the things that the Lord has chosen and given to you. An appropriate response natin is to worship Him and to praise Him, to thank Him for His goodness and His love for us. Seth and our worship team tonight will lead us into some singing, declaring how much we love Him. So let us truly rejoice in singing this evening, bringing back to the Lord all glory, honor, and praise. Yes, Lord, we continue, Lord, to praise you. We continue to honor you today, this evening. Lord, we just want to say that this evening, may you be lifted high, O oh God. Oh Jesus, be lifted high in our midst. We want to praise you for who you are, for all the things that you've done. As we ponder upon your goodness, your faithfulness, of what you've done, Lord, on the cross. That's why we're here, being able, oh God, to praise you and honor you. As we continue to ponder, praise Him with your lips, praise Him with your mouth, do not withhold yourself, just say thank you, thank you Lord.
power in your name and indeed tonight Lord we have not gathered here just to sing but Lord but to declare your most holy name oh God your name that has power your name that changes us from glory to glory your name that heals us and your name that embraces us we sing of your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Let's sing the song to the Lord.
Yeah. I will live, I will not die. I will declare and lift you high. Christ revealed, and I am healed in Jesus' name. Oh, sing it over your life. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. God is fighting for us, pushing back the darkness, lighting up the kingdom that cannot be shaken. In the name of Jesus, enemies defeated, and we will shout it out, shout it out. Open the eyes of our hearts, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Sing, Lord. I want to see you. I want to see you. Jesus, open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you. To see you high. To see you high. up in every corner of our hearts that's our desire as we worship that's our desire not just when we come here but every day of our lives Lord to see you high and lifted up oh Jesus in every thought every motive we surrender it to you our hearts 
hearts surrender to you. For your name is holy. We worship you tonight, Lord. Shouts 
nothing has the power to say but your seated. Thank you, Seth. Thank you, team. Ayan. Sa gabi pong ito, patuloy nating magbubulay-bulayan yung presensya ng Panginoong Diyos. We have just spent time rejoicing in the very presence of our God. This evening, we shall reflect a little bit on the Word of the Lord. Kung maalala niyo po our theme for this year, the start of this year is SOAR 2024. We want to be as a people of God na namamayagpag sa ating pananampalataya. May we be as His people soaring in our life, in our faith, in our family, in our ministry, in the church, in our studies, in the workplace, in every aspect of our life. My heart's desire is that we will see ourselves soaring in the Lord. And this is based on Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Why don't we all read together? Isaiah 40, 31, let us read. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. So this has been the basis of our theme for this year, Soaring 2024. And tonight in our time here at the place, I want us to soar at the place. I want us to soar in our faith deeper in the Lord, deeper in our love for Him, deeper in our understanding. And my desire is that uh, patuloy tayong lalago sa ating pananampalataya. Uh, April na po. This is already the first Friday of April. Tapos na po yung first quarter. I wonder, let me just ask all of you a question. Is 2024 turning out to be as you had hoped for. Yung taon ba na ito ay ang inaasahan ninyo? Kasi Abril na po, tapos na po yung first quarter. Yung inaasahan, yung ine-expect, yung dinidesire niyo po ba? Is it turning out to be what, it, what you had hoped 2024 will be? Para kasing ang bilis ng panahon. Halos uh, mga ngalahati na yata, tapos na yung first quarter. I wonder kung kayo iinip na Nababagalan ba kayo sa pacing ng inyong buhay? Kayo po ba'y naiinip na? Kayo ba'y nagtatanong, ano, saan ba ako pupulutin? Ano bang nangyayari sa aking buhay? Marami sa atin ang merong mga life-turning events this year, major decisions, major events in our life taking place. And I wonder, where are you right now? Sino po ba sa inyo ang nag-iisip? Is this where I want to be? Am I at the place where God wanted me to be? Marami na siguro yung nangyari. At uh, sa mga nangyaring ito, 
You may be thinking, hindi naman to yung gusto kong mangyari sa aking buhay. Ang daming mga options, ang daming opportunities. Hindi ko malaman yung aking pipiliin. I, I wish 2024 would be a little easier. Or maybe iba sa inyo, pagod na. No, it, uh, yung uh, natapos yung 2023, bit-bit din yung mga soliranin yung problema into 2024, and then mag abril na, ganun pa rin. Nothing has changed, nothing has happened. As if you're asking yourself, Lord, where is the soaring going to take place? Or maybe hindi na po kayo makapaghintay. Or maybe some of you are a little bit discouraged because yung ine-expect ninyo na umpisa, yung ine-expect nyo na magandang mangyayari, hindi natutupad, medyo discouraged kaya or disappointed sa mga nagiging ganap sa inyong first quarter of 2024. Yung ine-expect nyo na nandito, medyo disappointed kayo kasi because it's a little below par. It's not what you had hoped for. It's not what you were expecting. It's not what you were wanting. And so you are at a crossroad. You do not exactly know where to turn. You do not exactly know what to do. I hope that Isaiah 40 verse 31 will continue to speak to you. Those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not be faint. Tonight, as a way of reminder, because to, uh, this Sunday, we will finish our series on SOAR 2024. We will finish our series based on Isaiah 40, verse 31. My desire is that tonight, ma-remind lang po tayo lahat. We just, I just want for us to go back to this verse na kailangan nating maghintay. In order for us to soar, we must wait for the Lord. So this will be a little bit of a recap with a little new things that I would like to speak to all of us. Just to remind all of us, for us to soar, we must wait. But what does wait mean? Wait means to wait, literally maghintay. Wait means to look for eagerly. You purposefully look and search for something. That's an aspect of waiting. Waiting also involves hoping and expecting. So in the scriptures, these three definitions can be used interchangeably for that, you, for that uh, biblical word, wait. And we need to look at the context, how it was used, ano ba exactly ang ibig sabihin. But in any context for that matter, these three definitions of the word wait can apply. Wait, literally maghintay, magabang. Yan, tagal-tagal mo na nag-aabang, tatlong buwan na yung nakalipas, hindi pa rin nangyayari, no? And does the thing that you're hoping for or the thing that you're wanting has not arrived yet? Or yung wait na to look for eagerly, it means that hindi lang passive waiting, it also means na ikaw ay merong gagawin. You will purposefully pursue it. And exactly, ang pe-pursue natin is none other than God. Hindi lang senseless waiting, but hoping and expecting for something beautiful, something pa positive. In the scriptures, hoping is always associated with hoping for something good. Nobody hopes for something that is bad. Hoping is never associated for anything negative. Hoping is never associated with anything that is disadvantageous or disappointing. When we hope for something, it's always something that is positive, hopeful, good, and beautiful. So, hindi tayo nago hope for the worst. We do not hope for the, uh, for the bad things to happen in our life. We always hope for the best. Pero sa totoo lang, mahirap magwait, mahirap maghintay, mahirap magpursue, at mahirap umasa kapag ang tagal tagal ng inaasahan natin na mangyari. Kapag napakatagal na ng paghihintay natin at kung hindi nangyayari yung inaasahan natin. And that's why we need to understand what waiting truly means. Pero hindi lang po kasi yung tatlo na yan ang definition ng wait. There is a fourth implication of what waiting is actually like in the scriptures. Tonight, that's what I would like to share to all of us. This aspect of waiting is a little bit more difficult. We will find this in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 25 to 26. Why don't we all read together Lamentations 3, 25 to 26. Let us read. 
The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. These two verses, makikita natin yung unang tatlong definitions that I mentioned a while ago. Yung waiting, sabi dun sa verse 25, the Lord is good unto them that wait for him. The Lord is also good to the soul that seeks Him, the one that pursues Him, the one who follows hard after Him. And then the third definition of wait, makikita natin sa verse 26, it is good that a man should both what? Hope. But then the fourth implication of waiting is found in verse, the second part of verse, 10, verse 26. Let me read. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. This is the fourth implication or meaning of waiting for us. To wait in the scriptures, fourthly means to wait quietly. Yung maghintay ng nananahimik. Parang mahirap yata yun eh. Actually, mas serious pang ibig sabihin sa scriptures. To wait quietly uh, uh, uses the word dumam which means, una, to be still, that aspect of waiting wherein you just stay, remain put, uh, remain, uh, stay put, I mean, and you remain right where you are, that's an aspect of waiting. Part of the uh, definition of waiting quietly is the word that is used for being dumb, not uh, the dumb that we know, but the dumb where it's yung hindi yung, yung pipi. Kapag tayo nagiintay, Part of what we do or must do in waiting is that we zip our lips, we become silent, we quietly wait. Napakahirap nito sa mga taong hindi marunong rendahan yung kanilang mga bibig. No? Mahirap to sa mga tao na hindi kayang manahimik. Mahirap ito sa mga tao to actually not say anything. To be quiet like a person who is unable to speak, that is an aspect of waiting quietly. Ang tinuturo ng Panginoong Diyos, they that soar, marunong manahimik sa kanyang harapan. We have been acquainted with coming to the Lord with all that we have, with all that we are, just as we are, bringing unto the Lord even our heartaches, our complaints. We've seen that in the life of Job when he just basically all uh, the capacity to speak unto the Lord with everything that is in our heart. That is a, one of the ways wherein we communicate, we deal, we relate with God. But another aspect with which na minsan ay kailangan gawin natin at pinagagawa ng Panginoong Diyos is to not say anything. To wait quietly tulad ng isang pipe na walang kakayanang magsalita. To wait quietly in silence for God is at times what we need to do. Kaya natin minsan ginagawa yung pausing. We just spend time in just being quiet before the Lord because that is when God, or that is when God's voice becomes clear. It's hard to hear the voice of God when we are always the ones speaking. Di ba mahirap pakinggan o mahirap uh, mahirap marinig ang isang tao kung nag, nag gusto nating mas maunawaan pa kung tayo nang tayo yung nagsasalita. We must spend time listening to the other person. I'd like to read Psalm 62 verses 5 to 8 for us because this perfectly captures what I'm trying to say. It says in verse 5, for God alone, O oh my soul, I wait in silence, for my hope is from Him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rests my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in Him at all times, O oh people, Pour out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. God alone, O oh my soul, I wait in silence because our hope is in Him. 
It is all based on who our God is. God is a rock. God is a fortress. God is faithful. God is our salvation. On God rests our glory. God is our refuge and He could be trusted. At dahil, dahil ganito ang ating Panginoong Diyos, pwede, nating, pwede tayong manahimik sa Kaniyang harapan. Expectant waiting in the quietness of heart means that we will take that posture of silence before our God. In the first place, God knows, God hears, and God understands. This is what it means to be still before the Lord. To be expectant in hoping while waiting quietly is to have a posture of peace. You hindi ka nagag... And what's the proper term? Not nagagamba, nagigimbala ba, or whatever. Hindi, you're not fretting inside. You're not anxious. You're not worried. Your heart is at peace. And therefore, you have a peaceful and unbothered heart. Hindi aligaga. And this is a picture of a person that truly knows how to soar in the Lord. And you've heard me already speak about this. Those who wait on the Lord, they shall soar like eagles. And an eagle that soars simply has his wings outstretched like that. That's what an eagle that is soaring. Nandun lang, ang kanyang mga pakpak is outstretched, open wide. And he just simply, or the eagle just simply lets the wind lift him up. Bring him, to bring the eagle to whatever, wherever the wind will lead him him unto. The imagery of a soaring eagle eagle perfectly captures the essence of quiet waiting. Andyan lang, naghihintay lang, arms outstretched, just wings extended with no flapping. Pero opposite is someone who does not wait in peace or in quietness of heart. Ganito sila, yung mga taong nagsosoar like eagles, ganyan lang. They just soar to the Lord peacefully with outstretched arms. Pero ang agila na hindi matahimik, ganyan ng ganyan yan. No? And so it's making all the effort so that he would fly and he's the one making everything possible and eventually that ego will tire out. An ego that knows how to rest is just quietly waiting for the Lord. Be warned. Sometimes, baka ikaw na yung gumaganyan. Saan ka kaya dadali ng kagaganyan mo? For all you know, you may be led into a place that God has not destined you to be. What you need to do is just stretch out your arms, stretch out your wings like an eagle. Wait quietly. Quiet your hearts. Quiet your lips. Quiet your spirit before the Lord. And when you quiet your heart, your mind, your peace, your mouth, it's like an eagle that will soar. And before you know it, the Lord will take you to wherever He has destined you to go. Sometimes, you know, the voice of the people around us becomes so loud, we cannot hear. We cannot hear what God is saying. And so what happens is, punta tayo doon, punta tayo rin eh, gawa tayo ng ganito. And all that we need to do is just stretch out our wings and let God do His own thing. It's like taking matters into our own hands. When we cannot wait, we take matters into our own hands. We make our own decisions, we make our own choices. Tayo na yung nag-iisip ng gagawin, dumidiskarte tayo. Minsan iniisip natin, this is the best place to take because it's the most appealing, most beautiful, most uh, helpful for us. This is probably the best place to go because maganda yung mangyayari or aabutan natin doon not knowing that uh, it will cause us even further harm. A stance of waiting is just really waiting for God to bring that into our lives. I've seen it many times in my own walk 
na sometimes when I've heard from the Lord and I know what God wants me to do, I could not wait to do it. It's as if kailangan ng Diyos ang tulong ko para maisakatuparan yung vision, yung purpose. Yes, God will give us wisdom, but sometimes I do not know how to wait. I do not know how to listen and I do not know how to wait for God to fulfill His plan and purpose in my life in His perfect timing. I want it to happen now. Whereas God simply wants me to spread my wings, keep waiting, and let Him make me soar. And before I know it, He will lead me into His destination. And the beauty of just waiting is when it all happens, it's perfect. When God makes it happen, it's, happen, it's perfect. But when it is me who does the bidding, when it is me who does the working, there's always something wrong with what I have done. But when it is God, I know in my heart that that is the perfect act of the Lord. A stands of waiting. So April na po ngayon, baka naghihintay ka pa, can you just ask yourself, am I an eagle like this? Or am I an eagle like that? If you're an eagle like this, you will not soar. Because the one that soars is the one that lets God lift him up. Sometimes, when things are not turning out to be as we had hoped for, we are the ones that are making the effort. We manufacture, we fabricate, quote-unquote, the presence of God. We manufacture the moving of God instead of waiting unto Him. As we continue to reflect on who God is, as we continue to reflect on what He wants to do in our lives, a good question that I would like for us to ask ourselves is, what kind of waiting am I doing? Am I just waiting per se? Am I waiting pursuing it? Am I waiting in hope and in assurance of the future? Or is God asking me to wait in quietness? In quietness of heart, in quietness of mind, and in quietness of my lips. When we do so, God will make it happen. Prayer is an act of waiting quietly and in hope. That's why we must never cease praying. That's why we must never stop praying because it's a step of faith. It's a declaration that we are trusting unto the Lord. And that's what we are going to do right now. We'll proceed to the next part, which is asking the Lord in prayer. And this is what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to find a partner, two or three. Hanap kayo ng kapartner niyo. Maybe you are already with a partner right now. And I'd like for you to pray. I'd like for you first and foremost to share. Ano ba yung aspiration ninyo for 2024? Nangyari na ba? Kung hindi pa, ano ang pinagagawa sa iyo ng Panginoong Diyos? Gets niyo po? What are you hoping for this 2024? Has it happened? Testify, praise the Lord. If it has not yet happened, I would like for you to share what then is God asking me to do when it comes to waiting? Meron pa bang ipinagagawa ang Panginoong Diyos sa iyo? So why don't you do that right now? Find a partner, share, and then after that, I'd like for you to pray for each other. There you go. Spend time in prayer right now.
Make sure you spend time praying for each other.
I'd like to call on the worship team to come up here on stage. Let me just read again Lamentations 3.25 to 26. It says there, The Lord is good unto them that wait for Him, to the soul that seeketh Him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Isaiah 40, 31 says that those who wait for the Lord shall soar like eagles. And that includes waiting, literally waiting, pursuing God, and hoping and having that assurance inside. But tonight we've learned also that it includes quietly waiting for the Lord. Waiting quietly. Gusto ko lang po kayong tanungin, what kind of uh, quiet waiting does God need to do in your life? Kailangan bang i-quiet ang inyong mga puso at ang inyong mga isipan? Or kailangan nyo bang i-quiet ang inyong mga bibig? Maybe just as a token of trusting in the Lord. My prayer is that indeed you will learn to do both. Because when our hearts are not quiet, when our minds are not quiet, our hearts will fret. Our hearts will worry. We will be anxious. We will be people filled with fears. When our lips are not quiet, we will just end up complaining. We will complain and give our God nothing but thanksgiving, but instead, ang ipopour out natin to God and perhaps unto others, ang maririnig sa atin ay paawang complaints, nothing more, nothing less. Jeremiah said, It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. Let me read Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. As we proceed to the last part, that is yielding to the will of the Lord. Habakkuk 2 verse 3 says, For still the vision awaits its appointed time. It hastens to the end. It will not lie. But if it seems slow, what does Habakkuk say? Wait for it. It will surely come. It will not delay. Kung hindi pa siya nangyayari, April na ngayon, wait for it. Kung naiinip ka, wait for it. Kung naiinip ka, hindi ka na makapaghintay, just keep on doing, pursuing what God is telling you to do right now. Maybe that's all that you need to do. Stay put. Do what God is asking you to do right now. And just keep on hoping and being assured that it will eventually happen. And maybe the fourth thing that you need to do, you need to pacify your heart. Quiet your heart and quiet your lips. It will not delay, the Lord says. Let us all stand. Let's bow down our heads. Let's close our eyes. Dear Lord, thank you for the promise of your word. That for many of us, if not all of us, the vision is still awaiting its appointed time. You've already given it to us, but the fulfillment has not yet come. The time has not yet come. While we believe that it will eventually happen, na yung mga bagay na binitawan yung pangako sa amin personally, yung mga binitawan yung pangako sa aming pamilya, lalong-lalo na po sa mga magulang na narito or mga magulang na nanonood, yung mga hinohope for namin sa aming mga anak. Lord, we just continue trusting in you yung mga binigyan yung pangako sa aming hanap buhay, trabaho, sa mga nag-aaral dito, or sa mga tao na nasa ministry, sa mga tao na nagtataguyod ng pamilya. Maybe our situation is this. The vision has not yet taken place. It's still awaiting its appointed time. Lord, give us hearts 
that are quiet before your throne. Give us lips that are quiet. Lips that are instead full of praise and thanksgiving in assurance that what you have said will come to pass. Lord, we believe the word that you have declared that those who wait in you shall soar like eagles. And in waiting, may we wait in the quietness of our heart. May we not wait out of our own doing, effort, or will. But may we wait believing that you will do what you have promised to do. So Lord, with that assurance and that word, we just bring back all glory, honor, and praise to you. May your will be done. May your kingdom come. And may our hearts rest at peace in your presence and in the power of your word. This we do in Jesus' name. And let everybody say, Amen and Amen. As we continue to dwell in the presence of God, in quietness and in trust. Let's sing this song as a response to the word of the Lord.
and he heard and he answered I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered that's why I trust him that's why I trust him I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered I sought the Lord and he heard and he answered that's why I trust him that's why I trust him this moment is between you and the Lord as you continue to seek him and worship him cry out to him oh I seek understanding thank you for your love that comforts us in times of need and for that Lord we worship you for who you are we worship you we honor you we adore you in Jesus name amen and amen let's give him a clap offering honor and praise in Jesus name hallelujah Alright, see you po this Sunday. God bless you all. Ingat po pag-uwi. God bless you.